Good evening, everyone. Hope you all had a good Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, coming at you a little bit late, almost 11 o'clock here, central Indiana. But I had a busy day. As I said yesterday, I had to uh, go take my Jeep in, get the brakes fixed on it. So my, uh, my wallet's a little lighter, but at least my Jeep can stop now. But with that being said, I had to wait on it all day. And then uh, also was involved in a live stream this evening. If you go over to Danny and Grace Cards and Toys, they had a live stream on a two hobby box break, a 2019 Prism. I was entered in on that break. I got a few nice cards. He really pulled some really nice cards out of that box. So if you all want to see some, some nice autographs that were pulled today, go over and check out Danny and Gray's Cards and Toys and their 2019 Prism uh, two hobby box break that they did this evening. So that's kind of been my afternoon in a nutshell. But anyway, I was thinking all day what kind of video I could do since I really don't have any new boxes right here with me and I decided I've just got a few uh, small sets of cards that I'd like to uh, show everybody real quick uh, all these I purchased as a whole except for two of them which I'll explain one of them that I did not purchase as a whole is the 1998 set of pop weavers that pops out of my hand there but these were inserted in boxes of Pop Weaver popcorn back in 1998. I actually put this set together through, um, I think I may have got one or two out of the actual boxes. I think a couple of people may have given me some in the other two that I purchased. But this is the front of the card. There's, I believe there's six cards in the set. Yes, there's six cards. That's the front of the card. And this is the back of the card. Of course, you see it was produced by Upper Deck. So they're very nice quality cards. So we have Jeff Gordon, and they do have the facsimile driver signature there in gold foil. So you have Jeff Gordon, Dale Earnhardt, Rusty Wallace, Jeff Burton, Dale Jarrett, and another Rusty Wallace. And I'm guessing there was two Rusty Wallace cards because he was a spokesperson for the Upper Deck Company for quite a while, so he would be featured more in their sets. Now this set I purchased in whole off of eBay, I believe it is from 1993 maybe? No, I'm sorry, 1991. But it's, it's produced by Trax and this is what the backs of them look like. But it's the Dale Earnhardt Mom and Pops Country, Country Biscuits set. So you see there Dale with Richard Childress. Dale Earnhardt. Looks like after he won the Bush Clash, probably in 1990. No, I'm sorry, he wouldn't have won it in 90, he would have won it in 91. Ken Schrader won it in 90 because Dale Earnhardt did not score a pole in 1989. We have another car photo. Probably after that looks to be after his Richmond Pontiac Excitement 400 win in spring of 91. So here, that's him being honored for the championship. Looks like this is probably the last car of the set. His pit crew, known as the Flying Aces. And this is the ever popular photo back in 1989, the first time that the Cup Series went to Sears Point. And there was a very sharp left hand, or I'm sorry, a very sharp right hand corner that went up a hill, and a lot of the cars were catching air. So there's a lot of photographs like this out there, and this one was just uh, became an iconic photo in NASCAR. I believe that photo actually made the cover of a uh, Winston Cup Illustrated magazine back in the day. This one, I believe I got this set. Um, was in a lot of cards that I purchased. 1992 AC Delco set. And this was teams that uh, utilized the AC Delco products in their cars. Of course, Rusty Wallace, Miller Genuine Draft Pontiac for Roger Penske. Ricky Rudd, Tide Chevrolet with Hendrick Motorsports. Kyle Petty, Mellow Yellow Pontiac for Sabco. Daryl Waltrip in his own Darwall Inc. Western Auto Chevrolets. Ernie Irvin. Of course, Kodak didn't, uh, they didn't pay Kodak for the rights to be on this, so that's why his car appears blank, but it was the Kodak film Chevy in 92. Ken Schrader, Kodiak, Chevrolet for Rick Hendrick. Oh, by the way, that is the Morgan McClure-owned team. I did not mention that. Ken Schrader, Kodiak, Chevy. 
Dave Marcus. Now, Dave only ran about six races for this team in 1992. He ran the rest of the year driving his own cars, but this number 41 Kellogg Chevrolet was owned by Larry Hedrick. Then you have Hut Strickland driving Bobby Allison's Ray Bestis Buick. Then they have the AC Delco 500, which is was the fall race at Rockingham, accompanied by the AC Delco 200 Bush Series race during that same weekend. And then the AC Delco's Powers, the winner's card. And this one is just serves as the checklist. I personally would have made that the cover card. I think that's a lot more attractive than just seeing a driver on the front. Because if you're not a Rusty Wallace fan, you might not want to buy that set. This is a set that I purchased. It says $2 on it, but I think I got it in another lot of cards. Skybox came out in 1994. Skybox Racing. And as you see, each set contains an exchange card for the uh, limited edition winner of the Brickyard 400, which we'll get to here in a minute. Which I believe is this card right here, this is Jeff Gordon. Now these cards are oversized. I'll just grab a, a, another card here. They're the same width, as you can see, but by height or length, however you want to measure that, they're just slightly bigger, maybe about 25% bigger. So there's Jeff Gordon, a winner of the inaugural Brickyard 400, and that is the exchange card. I thought that was a QR code for a minute, but hey, this is 1994. We all know better than that. But it gives a little bit of information there about the inaugural Brickyard 400. And this is Trickle. There's the actual exchange card. Looks like somebody did exchange that. So this was not the exchange card. That's the uh, actual card. Looks like somebody exchanged that and they punched it out. That's probably why that card was, why that set was a little snug getting out of that box. So I'm going to keep that one separate. But there's the exchange card. A lot of times the card companies would punch it. I've got a, uh, what, what was it? The Press Pass had the Cup Chase series that's got the punch out on the redeemed card. So we'll go through these really quickly. You got Dale Earnhardt there, of course. Very nice cards, plenty of room on the back, very clean looking cards. Give you the the uh, vitals there, birth date, hometown, height, weight, team, and a little bit of a review of his career at that point. And these were produced by Skybox. Of course, Skybox known for their basketball cards. Skybox got into racing in the uh, mid-90s. I think they went and produced a couple of sets. Then you have Waltrip. Ernie Irvin driving for Robert Yates. There's Jeff Gordon. Very nice looking Jeff Gordon card there. Do I have two of those? Are those the same one? What happened here? A4 and O4. I'm not sure what the difference is between A4 and O4. So I'm going to have to set the A4 aside because that may be a promo card. I'll have to set that one aside too. We have Terry Labonte. Wally Dallenbach driving for Richard Petty. Wally was released about two-thirds of the way through the Cup Series season in 1994. Uh, Johnny Andretti finished the season in that car. Kyle Petty driving for Sabco. Lake Speed in his only season for Budmore. He did run a partial season in 93. He ran the full season in 94 and finished 11th in the standings. Had a very consistent season. Mark Martin, who was always a title contender. Morgan Shepard driving for the Wood Brothers. Ricky Rudd, this was the first year he drove in his own uh, self-owned uh, Tied Fords. Had a good year. He scored a win at New Hampshire. You have Rusty Wallace driving for Roger Penske. Sterling Marlin in his first year driving for Larry McClure, Morgan McClure team. He won his first career race at Daytona in 1994. We have a pit stop for the Tied Ford. Looks like we got a, several pit stops for the Tied Ford. And it looks like it's just going through the sequence of the pit stop there. So that's really interesting. And that anatomy of a pit stop. Okay, I thought I had a couple duplicate cards, but it kind of shows you the anatomy of the pit stop. So that's really interesting. And of course, about this time, all the card companies were putting out tech cards. Kind of give you an idea of a little bit about the, the, the NASCAR 
uh, series, the cars they run, maybe the pit equipment, obviously here's an engine, aerodynamics, they covered everything that they could to just create more fan interest, give the fans a little bit more knowledge, a little bit more insight. And this is Darrell Waltrip's team, and it just tells you more, a little bit about the the importance of all the technical aspects. Here you have Jeff Bodine on the left, Todd Bodine on the right, Michael Waltrip on the left, Darrell Waltrip on the right, and then John Andretti. Sadly, John recently passed this year of colon cancer back in January, but he made racing history to become the first person to compete in the Indy 500 and in the Coca-Cola 600 in the same day. Same day. Donnie Allison did it back in the early 70s, but the races were not held on the same day. But John did it on the same day. And then congratulations from Skybox International. So that's that set. It's a unique set. I like it. I just don't like the fact that the cards are oversized. Makes them difficult to store unless you keep them in the box. And that's where these are going to stay. Except for those two Gordons that I just pulled out. Because I want to find out a little bit more about those cards. And then the final set we're going to do. This was uh, Upper Deck Predictor. One of the interactive sets back in the day. And they had uh, these little scratch cards. And you would scratch off uh, certain uh, accomplishments that a driver may or may not do for a certain race. Maybe lead so many laps, finish in a certain position, qualify in a certain position, so on and so forth. And if your driver achieved everything on that card that you scratched off, if you scratched off all of them and the driver achieved all of them, then you won uh, a prize. So there was actually two prizes. The card that you would send in, they would send you a cello version of that card. And then somehow, they, for some reason, they sent me a whole set of these. I don't know why. But I really like these cards. They're die cut set, and as you see, they have uh, they're somewhat translucent. There, you can basically see right through the cards, and it almost looks like they light up when you hold them up to the light. But I think these are a really attractive set. A little bit of wear there, but it's been in that plastic uh, jewel case for many years. So we'll just go over these real quick. You got Terry Labonte there, and I'll show you the backs. There's literally nothing on the back except the number and predictor winner. So we have Terry Labonte. We have a really nice Jeff Gordon card there. Dale Jarrett. We're just going to rapid fire through these. And these each represent a race out of the year. Sterling Marlin. Get him in focus there. And if I didn't say, these were from 1997. I said 95, I apologize, but these are actually from 97. See Ernie Irvin. Of course, being kind of clear, they're wanting to focus a little bit further behind Rusty Wallace. That's a nice looking card. And I do not, I don't recall if there was any Dale Earnhardt cards in this set or not, because there was always, Dale was very, very, uh, I'm not going to use the word picky, there's Terry Labonte, but Dale would only allow certain companies to market him and market his image and his likeness. There's Jeff Gordon. Of course, Jeff Gordon kind of followed suit. There's Jeffrey Bodine, QVC car. Very unique paint scheme. Dale Jarrett again. And these, these are actually chronicling the drivers that their highlights, I believe, from the 96 season, because Jeff won his last race in 96 at Watkins Glen. He didn't win any. Uh, Mayfield, mm, he didn't win until 98, so I don't know what he is in the set for. I don't recall him doing anything spectacular in 96, except switching, switching rides with John Andretti with, uh, at Richmond in the fall. There's Ken Schrader driving for Andy Petrie Racing. Jimmy Spencer in the uh, Camel Ford for Travis Carter. Ted Musgrave in the Family Channel Prime Star Ford for Jack Roush. There's Daryl Waltrip. Haven't seen Jeff Burton yet. He should be coming up. There we go. There's a Jeff Burton. Exide Batteries Roush Ford. Got just a few more cards. Ward Burton, the MBNA America Pontiac, MBNA 
was a bank and a lender. I believe they were eventually bought out by Bank of America. There's Johnny Benson, 1996 Cup Series Rookie of the Year. Kyle Petty, PE2 Pontiac. Bobby Hamilton in the Petty Enterprises Pontiac. Another very nice Terry Labonte card. Jeff Gordon. Bobby Labonte. And the last card is Bill Elliott. I believe there's 30 cards in this set. Yes, 30 cards in this set. So again, I don't know... I think I had a second set of these, and I may have sold them. I know I had two sets of this at one time. I think I may have sold it or traded it or what have you. But I just wanted to share with you guys a few of these smaller sets that I've collected over the years. I uh, didn't have anything really planned today, so just kind of threw this together last minute. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Please continue that feedback. We continue to grow bit by bit here. We're still at 73 subs. But you know the role. When we get to 100 subs, there will be a lucky subscriber that will win one of these three cards. Either the 98 VIP Tony Stewart, the 89 Don Russ Ken Griffey Jr., or the 2016 Tops. It's either Heritage or Archives of Braun Strowman. Let me look at it so I can... I'll probably actually have to go online and look this one up because I really, really can't remember... I always get archives and heritage confused in baseball, so I'm going to do it in wrestling too. But once again, when we get to 100 subs, we'll have a drawing, and one of the lucky subscribers will get to win. The, they, they get to pick, basically. They get to pick which one of those cards is their favorite, and I'll, I'll send it off to them. But once again, I appreciate you guys uh, bearing with me today, and just, just kind of a little bit of an oddball video. So I just want to have a little fun today and give you guys a little bit of something for Thursday. So I hope you're all staying safe. I know we're getting to the end of the work week tomorrow, so I know many of you be glad to, for that, having, the, having a weekend maybe kind of... Kind of just rest, relax, and uh, forget about the crazy world. So I appreciate you guys hanging in there. I thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you again tomorrow.